welcome back to my YouTube channel. Como están familia? I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a new video and as you can see, we are in my beauty room. So welcome and I can't wait to show you guys around and show you how I organize everything, everything that I have and inspire some of you or give you some ideas on how to decorate your beauty room. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Camila Bravo and I am a makeup artist, content creator. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscription box and also turn on your notifications bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. Any further ado, let's begin this video. Let's begin with this space right here. So pretty much this is a hanger to put clothes on and I just have it decorated with a few pieces. I don't use this too often because we haven't been going out anywhere and pretty much I would use this for a clothing haul. Well, the first one that I ever did for my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't watched that, I encourage you to do that. And if you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, I'm thinking about doing more very soon, but since we can go out, we used to use this to put some clothing ideas and some outfits for events and things like that. But right now I just have it clean. There's a flower here underneath that it was a gift from a brand and that's pretty much it. And right next to it, uh, we move on to what I called, or what I like to call my memory wall. And pretty much this is actually a bookshelf and I got it at Ikea and pretty much I am using it to put things that are memorable to me that I keep from like trips or companies when they send me PR packages and they send me uh, cool stuff. It's eye catching and just like super fun. I just leave it in this wall. So let me just show you a few things because literally this wall will take probably like a whole video just talking about every single thing. It's gonna be like a two hour long video if I just focus on this wall and then well from here up I have like memory wall and then from here down I have all of my palettes and this was organized by Brian so shout out to Brian that helped me organize this area uh, <laughs> and then let me just show you a few things from here that um, are some of my like favorite things. Like for example, like this cereal box that has my name on it. This was sent from Benefit sent me this. And I just thought it was super cool because actually has cereal inside. This was a primer, the professional primer. And I kept it. I also received this the super cool locker. And this reminds me of high school. So I just left it because he's super cute. Things like that that are cool to display. But like I said before, there are some, so many other things that I have that I want to display but, display, but there is no space here. We also have this portrait that I got in Entrepez. I was with Garnier and then we had a painting class and we made this happen and I still have to hang it. I have to find like a really cool place that goes with the vibe here, but I just, left it here in my memory wall. And then I also have this super cool portrait. Garnier sent me this portrait. We took this photo uh, in Hawaii and we were actually doing a trip for their treats for the hair, the one minute um, hair masks when they came out and they had a professional photographer and they sent me that portrait with that photo. I just loved it so I kept it there. There's so many other cool things like this phone, for example, from Benefit. We also have this super cool display from Maybelline. As you can see, is like heavy and really like really cool material. I mean, this will last me forever and it's a cool thing to keep. I have um, this mascaras here from uh, Marc Jacobs has my name on it. It's engraved, so I just kept it there, the bottle. And also this one from Buxom has my name, so I just kept it there. And then funny thing about this lipstick from Maybelline, this is from their Superstay collection. Um, as you can see, it looks the same, the same exact packaging. And I kept this as a memory because we had a trip in New York. Uh, with with the Maybelline It Girls, uh, with the global team, and we got to do our own Superstay shade. And this is the shade that I came up with. Let me show you, it's such a cute, it's such a beautiful shade. So I just kept it, 
because why not it's such a good memory and i just love this pink i think it's the bomb.com um so i kept this for that reason i don't know i'm the kind of girl that i love to keep like very memorable things with me i mean brian always is like why do you keep everything you should just throw things away and i'm like no leave me alone <laughs> he's right here helping me out leave me alone <laughs> Los llama los recuerditos, y literalmente son recuerditos, <risa> recuerditos, pero es que cada cosa tiene algo um, especial y me recuerda de un lugar especial. Uh, I mean, there are so many cool things that I want to talk about, but I just feel like this video will be way too long. Maybe, maybe I do a video with just the uh, memory wall so you guys can see, like, everything that I have. I also have this portrait. First trip with Benefit and this was to san francisco and i actually have a picture of my sister in the back isn't she cute this is her graduation last year um she's going to high school now so this year is her first year in high school everybody that graduated this year um you made it that's a big step so congratulations uh, okay, so pretty much that's like a summary of what I have, but I have obviously other things uh, that you guys probably could tell why they're so special. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to this side. Okay, so now we are coming to one of my favorite spots of my beauty room. I mean, I have so many, but this is definitely like a really cool system that I made for myself to keep everything organized. So this container is actually get so many questions about these containers and I got them at the container store. They are plastic, but they are actually like really, like a really great quality. They don't look cheap at all. And as you can see, they're different sizes and you can rearrange them how you want them. I feel like they have it. I don't remember because I got them a while ago. I, I think, I believe they have them advertised as like, like a storage for like kids toys or something like that. I don't remember. But um, as soon as I saw them and I saw how much space you have in these drawers, like in these uh, boxes, they are amazing to store everything. You get so much space and you keep everything so organized. Another thing that really sold me was that I wanna show you guys with this one, with this drawer. So pretty much you can see everything inside the drawer when you pull it out. It doesn't come, like it doesn't fall when you like let it out all the way. It has like something that stops it in the back from falling. And I love the fact that you can see everything that's inside. If you own an Alex drawer, you know that with the Alex drawers, you really can see what's in the back. Like you either have to dig inside or you won't use it ever because you never, it's not in your sight. So you only use what's in the, in the front of, of the cabinet. So that's why I loved these boxes. Them organized by brand. So here I have a lot of Too Faced skincare, and sorry, not skincare, uh, products for the, products for the face. I also have here all the concealers and I have here moisturizers and I keep all this row at the bottom. I keep all my skincare. I have serums, I have masks, I have oils all separated and I also keep here all lipsticks. So this is why I love these containers because they have so much, so much space. I do believe they are more cheaper than the acrylic boxes from the container store that a lot of people use, a lot of beauty gurus use, but honestly, I don't really like those. I feel like they break too fast. They don't have a lot of space and that's the one thing that I needed. It was space, like space where I can organize everything and keep everything nice and neat. So this is pretty much the swall. At the top, I have a, a nice sign that was gifted to me by YSL. And then I have this cherry that Brian is still insists that I should throw it away, but why? Why? Do you guys think I should throw it away though? Let me know in the comment section. Every time we organize in this room, he's like, are you gonna throw that cherry away? I'm like, leave my cherry alone. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna keep it because it's such a cool prop. Like, it's so cute. Like, when do you get a Urban Decay cherry? You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't get it. I keep all the makeup that I don't use. Well, I will use it, but it's brand new. If I need to replenish or I need to refill anything, 
I come here and grab it, or if I'm gonna do giveaways, I come here and grab some. Let me show you at the bottom. I have this, these are some drawers from Ikea as well. I don't think they're called Alex drawers. I know they have another name, but I actually prefer these over the Alex drawers. And in this drawers, I pretty much keep all of my lashes. Wow, I have so many lashes. <laughs> I keep all of my lashes, thank God, they don't inspire. Um, I keep all of my lashes. This is Urban Decay. Uh, literally, guys, this, organize all of these, took me like a whole month. Like this was a whole like process. I promise you, organizing all this cabinet. Here I have Kevin and Kwan, I have Pixie. I have Too Faced here. I have Tarte here and pretty much I have other brands and I just keep everything organized by brand. So this is Maybelline and so on. I have more lashes at the top. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's the bottom of that sustains the top, the plastic boxes. Um, so yeah, so let's move on to this side right here. All right, so here we have my lipstick wall and I actually came up with the idea to use traits. These are nail polish traits and I basically, I am using them as a lipstick holder to make a really cool wall display because as you can see, I have so many lipsticks and I couldn't find nothing out there that looked like what you would see at a store, like a Mac store or like a makeup brand store that they display the lipstick so well in like a nice, like a nice, I don't know, display. And this actually saved me so much space. Like imagine this being displayed on top of the table. Like I will have less space in one side of my room and I feel like I'm already running out. So this is perfect. So pretty much just to give you an idea how many lipsticks they it fits in one uh, tray to MAC lipstick. So that's why I can put so many in here. I know like when I first did this and I show it in my stories, I know people were saying, oh yeah, they're gonna do like the domino effect and it's gonna be like really like annoying at one point. But honestly, I haven't had that happen. I think maybe like once, but it wasn't like all of it. It was just like maybe like a section here or something like that, but it has worked for me so well. Um, I also keep here highlighters, really cool like packaging lipsticks. I keep the Selena uh, collection, things that are like really cool. They're meaningful. Eyeshadows from uh, Huda Beauty. And I also have them separate the lipsticks. I have them by the type of lipsticks the formula. So if it's matte, if it's luster, if it's cream sheen. The thing that I forgot to mention is that I love the fact that I switch all my MAC caps for clear ones that I got at Amazon. I'm going to leave the link in the description box, but this is super helpful to also see the shade for every lipstick because that's one of the things that bothers me a lot with MAC, that the cap is black. So when you have so many MAC lipsticks, you have to like literally take the cap off to see the shade. This is such a great system as well that I found super helpful to change the caps for clear ones. All right, so now let's move on to where I make my video. So here we are at my table where I make all the content happen. This is an impressions vanity table. I love it so, so much. I'm also going to link it in the description box so you guys can check it out. The one that I have, um, pretty much I'm going to show you guys, um, quick run through of what I have on top of this table. So on this side of the table, I have all of my liners. My sister actually helped me out with this side and I have all of my black liners line up at the front of the cabinet. I have, I have it also laid out by brands. It's a little bit unorganized already. I actually like it the way that it is because, um, Obviously this, this cabinet is so hard to fit like containers to like separate them. But I actually, I think my light bulb just went boom. And I know in Amazon they sell like separators that you can customize and they're very small. So they might fit so I can really line them up and have them more organized, <laughs> more organized on this middle cabinet. I have like everything that I need 
like right away when I'm filming. So pretty much I have a little case with my um, glues for the lashes, scissors, tweezers. I also have this amazing tool from Grand Lash Lift. I love this so much. It works so great. You guys have to check it out. Um, also, I have creams. I also have a bunch of mirrors as well because I'm always constantly looking for a mirror so I can get something closer or I can look at myself while I'm filming like a close-up look and you know the drill. We always need a mirror. I also keep my Vera Mona to clean my brushes real quick. Also a fan. We always in need of a fan because this room always gets super hot, hot, especially in the summertime. But with this light, it's always, always hot, even in the wintertime. All right. And in this cabinet, I have all of the products that I am testing out, trying out. I keep them on the side to follow up with them and um, review them. So this is another little section that I have for new products. And right in front, so right here, I have my Ricky. My Ricky loves Ricky mirror. I love, love, love this mirror, by the way. This is everything. You can also, it has a Bluetooth system that you can plug into your phone. I actually never have used that, but I think it's a cool feature for it to, to have because you can take like photos with it. Um, and it also comes with this amplifier mirror that is amazing to do your makeup with. And it also comes with um, this little thing right here um that you can put your phone here so this is magnetic you can put your phone here and filmed like a video or like get ready or something like that which is great so right here we have like a bunch of brushes that i have this is a nice little storage thing that i bought at uh, marshall's and i keep my some blenders here because they don't fit right here at the bottom in this cabinet right underneath my my mirror they don't fit so i just keep them here i also keep my lash curliners here um also i have this little container that i use to keep all of my eyebrow pencils and some mirrors and another fan because like I said, it gets so hot in this room. Um, and then I also have this organizer for my liners. I have here all of my eyebrow gels. I also have here some cool products that I keep using like oils. Um, this spray that is one of my favorites, ginger kombucha vitamin D chill mist from Sweet Chef that you can find at Target. Screen right here, this is a monitor. This is a computer monitor. <laughs> And we not use it yet because it doesn't it doesn't connect with my camera. Like there is something my camera doesn't have that doesn't work with this HD TV. So we cannot use it until we get a new camera, which is the camera that you're watching me from. I mentioned this. I love to keep a towel right in front of my table just to like clean my brushes as I go and if I have to like or if I wet myself or I got so much foundation I literally clean myself in this towel to make sure everything is nice and clean and the glass doesn't get dirty and all that stuff. So here we have literally more brushes. We have more clean brushes here. I have a skincare here at the bottom. Um, and I have highlighters. I have a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a close up with um, the camera. And then we have a setting spray. All right, so here in the back, um, I have this organizer that I got at Michael's. It was like literally super cheap. It was like $30. They had like a really great sale. And I got it to put my makeup on in there. But what I did now was transfer all the makeup that I typically use and put it in the Alex drawers. And what I'm doing now is with this, pretty much when I get new products sent to me from brands, I am going to put the products that I wanna test out. I want to review. I am gonna put them in this drawers and pretty much each is a different thing. So we have a skincare, we have foundation and concealers here. We have a primer and highlighters. And here we have dirty brushes. <laughs> Here are my dirty brushes, I keep them here. Uh, and then I wash them once it's full. And then we have here lipsticks. And, um, and then here at the very bottom, I just keep little things that I might need, like sanitizer, cleaner, uh, things like that. A pencil, a tripod, things like that, that I, you know, 
that I just need to store somewhere, like little miscellaneous stuff. Um, so pretty much this is the new system that I have. So that way when I am going to film and I wanna try out like new launches, new products, a new brand, I come to this cabinet and I take out what I need that I know that is brand new because if I immediately transfer it to my other drawers, like it's gonna get lost. I have so much stuff and I feel like that has happened a lot to me. So I just feel like this system will work really well. Then I also have this um, containers here. These are acrylic organizers, put the, uh, lipsticks in there. And I have some lip liners here. I have eye primers, some lip balms, lip oils, things to keep my lips. Okay, so right here we have two Alex drawers that I used to store makeup in, but I ran out of space, so that's why I switched to the container store, the plastic boxes, because you can store so much in those compared to these. So these are actually perfect for the makeup that it's already been used, that I have used on myself, that I already opened it, that it's my makeup that I use constantly, like things that are used pretty much. I have my highlighters here. I have, I keep it all organized by highlighters, blushes, blushes, mascaras. I have a whole um, drawer for mascaras, setting powder. We have more lipsticks and we have concealers. So pretty much how I have this concealers organized, I use like those acrylic organizers from Impressions Vanities that is for the powders. And I literally just put them up standing in those um, organizers for the powder. I have the two drawers from the bottom, they're foundations and I have them separate by my left side, I have full coverage. On my right side, I have light to medium coverage. And um, I am going to, well, Brian still has to make me more trays. The one I'm about to show you. So it's like literally like a tray like that. And it has all the lipsticks right there. And there is another tray at the bottom. You can see they're nice and flat laying not over each other, laying flat. I can see them, I can see every color, and it's gonna be so much easier for me to see every single lipstick instead of like having them right on top of each other. Like for example, like here, it's my glosses cabinet, and they're right on top of each other. So if I'm gonna look for one, I'm just gonna go like this and it's gonna get so unorganized. So I'm just waiting for him to build me, build me organizers because this is gonna be a great way to literally just see everything and just use everything. Cause sometimes like, you see like when you have so much clothing and then when you organize, you find things that, oh my God, I didn't know I have this. Oh my God, I remember about this. And then you forget about it. And it's the same thing with makeup. If you don't see it, you don't use it. But if you see it, you use it and you see the options that you have. So that's why this new system is gonna be so great. Like right now, like, it's amazing. So here I have all of my pink shades, nudes. I have here all of my glo glosses. For now, it's gonna stay like that. I have here all of my peach nude. Um, I have all of my reds here. I have my burgundies here and pinks. Hi, Maxi. So pretty much this is the Alex Jor system. And right on top, we have highlighters. We have um, liquid highlighters for the body. We have Patrick Ta, we have Soul, which is one of my favorite body highlighters. We have some really cool stuff, some bedazzle uh, shave tape and lip paint. We have the Barbie collection lipstick. This is like really super cool. Well, this one is already used, but as you can see, it has it's like literally glitter. It's so good. Oh my God, it is so rainy. Uh, moving on, we have this display that I got at, got at Ikea. Mm. And my display, my coffee talk display, let's put it like that. Yes, if you have not watched my new series, Cafe with Camila Coffee Talk, make sure you guys go check it out. We are on episode four right now, so hopefully this video is out before episode five, but Episode one, two, and three, and four is out. Make sure you check it out. I'm gonna leave it right up here so you guys can uh, save it, so you guys watch it after this video. Signs, 
that I actually got for my masterclass in New York City, my first makeup masterclass. And I got those to the core of the area where I was doing the makeup and I kept them because they're so cute and it's just a cool memory for me for my first ever masterclass in New York City. If you missed it, I'm so sorry, but we had such a blast. Thank you for all the feedback if you attended. Thank you so much for trusting me to be your teacher in the makeup world. I hope you enjoyed it. And then we have Luquitas. Hi, BB. We have it all. Her, his bed, he loves to lay there. Perfect space. And then I also wanted to show you guys this super cool power charger has eight outlets and it also have uh, two USBs and pretty much this tray at the top is perfect to place your phone, to place your external batteries and things like that to keep everything organized. And I just love the fact that it has so many outlets. So, and even sideways, so there is some here. There is some here, and there is one in the middle, and here are the USBs. I'm sorry for my core. I know it's been through a lot. Um, and perfect trades, just place everything and keep everything um, above the floor, you know what I mean? I found it on Amazon, and the one from Amazon is actually a little bit more expensive, but it charges faster. So it's better because it charges your phones faster, and it has an extra USB. So this one only has two, the one on Amazon, it has three, and I believe they also have a coupon that you can use for the tower charger. This is a really cool stuff that you can get on Amazon, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you guys can check it out. We, we have the Impressions Vanity Mirror that gives a really cool touch to my beauty room, and I love it because I can see myself once I am done doing my makeup and putting my outfit. So this is definitely a smaller size. I feel like this is like a kid size, but the one that is bigger, the one I have in my living room, it's like so good, I love it. But this is just great for my beauty room and give it like a nice touch to it. So I'm just gonna also leave the link for the one that is downstairs though, that is bigger if you have seen it in my Insta story. I have a closet where I have um, quite a mess because, well, it's like half mess, half organized because it doesn't have no shelves. So I need to get some containers to put stuff very organized and just store it there. And then at the top, I do have two shelves and everything is organized there. Keep the clamps there. I also keep the fabrics for the backdrop. I keep them hanging there, very organized. And we have my mom portrait that she gifted me that is so cute and I love it. And also I have my Suka bag and my Eve Pearl bag ready to go for when I have clients, so it's all nice and packed. Um, and final, 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 I wanna show you guys the lighting that I use for my videos because I know I'm gonna get tons of questions about the lighting that I got. Was a set that I got at Amazon. This brand, I guess, no longer exists anymore, so I'm gonna just link what I found that is the same exact thing, but I think that they changed the brand because it's been like four or five years that I got this set. So pretty much the set comes with these two box lightings. It also comes with an overhead light that we really don't use, and you're going to see, if you check the link, you're gonna see how they display the lights all together, and it's a really cool way that they do it, but the problem is, that because I don't have super high ceilings, it's like a lot for me and I just never thought it was necessary to have the overhead light. But if you need it, you have it. Uh, what we've been using it for, the overhead light, is if anything breaks from the two lights, we just swap it out and we get it fixed. So we get fixed the ones that we need. And it also comes with the backdrop. If you, if you need the backdrop, it's super necessary. So that's another cool thing. It's a really cool set. And they also have the set without the backdrop that it's a little cheaper. So I'm gonna leave both of them. I'm gonna leave the links in the description box so you get the two options. I also use this ring light that it's amazing from Impressions Vanity because it has a dimmer lighting and it also, you can set it up to cool or warm. I also have this other two lights that you see right here, and those are more, more like focus point lights that I would use for the backdrop, or like if I use for this displays right here and I'm doing a video and I want it to be light up, I use those two lights for that. They're quite expensive though, so you might not need this for now. I initially, I just got this like a year or two ago. They also have warm and cool, have dim, dimmer, they're LED, and they have these things that you put, you're gonna see it 
when you if you do go check the link for it you're gonna see that it has some clear stuff on the sides to really focus the light in a certain area but we took those off and we're just using it the way that it is because if we feel like it gives more light around the space instead of like so focused yeah so believe it or not the the lights for the back for the backdrop they're more expensive than these lights which is crazy so that's pretty much the lighting that i use this overhead light that you see right here i'm going to show you i got this from um i actually decided not to do a chandelier for my beauty room because my ceilings are not so high and i just needed like something that really light up this room so what i'm using is a light an led light from home depot that works amazing and i'm gonna leave you the link of that as well in case you're interested i think that's it the camera that i use i'm gonna show it to you guys is the camera that i am using right now which is the most important thing right so this is the camera that i use it's a canon 70d it's an older model though so i know they have updated the models like a few times already but there is a new one coming out very soon in like july so i'm waiting for that one to roll out to upgrade my camera but this is the one that i've been using for like four five years and the same lens i've been using for all of my videos i haven't switched it or anything like that so i don't have a secret this is it is the lens that comes with the Canon 70D and it has worked great for me. Also, it has a flip screen in the back that is really, really, really helpful. And I use this light at the top that I got at Amazon to give extra lighting or when we use the camera, not in this room, but like outside or in the living room or things like that. This light is super helpful when I want like extra light and just like boom, it's steamable and it has a cool and warm settings. So if you guys are interested, I'm also gonna link it in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out but it has worked great for uh for me all right guys we have come to the end of my beauty room tour i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it or if i forgot to mention anything or if you want me to link anything that you saw that you're interested in let me know in the comment section. I'll be on the lookout for those comments. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Twink, twink.